Okay, so our parts have had ample time to cure up and have enough coats of the uh, liquid masking agent. Um, as you can see, I kind of adjusted things a little as um, had a little too much excess um, getting onto the sticky tack, and just it was it became a problem, and so I had to redo everything. So anyway, what you want to do is first you're gonna need a new exacto blade as you want a very sharp blade for this now what's nice about world war ii models is that there's a very easily defined um ridge around where the glass is and where the frame is so you're just gonna lightly and sorry I'm trying to do this on screen as much as possible just gonna run the blade and score the edge. I want to do this very slowly, very carefully, and very deliberately. The more time you take, the less likely there's gonna be screw up, and, and make sure. Got ample light for this. And you also want to try and angle the blade so it's running up against the, the panel, the frame. I'm going to try and adjust my light a little. As I said, this is something you want to do with plenty of light. And just take your time and go slow. Sorry, I'm not doing this on camera, but as I said, something you kind of need to be able to see to do. And I'm trying to Make sure I get plenty of light to see what I'm doing. Now, rounded corners are probably going to be your biggest problem. Um, really can't offer any advice on, aside from just do your best and, yeah. unsure if you got it all don't be afraid to go back over it and get a phone call I'll be right back okay sorry about that so I took the opportunity to finish scoring the edges now to lift up the excess mass all you want to do is try and wiggle your blade under an edge which is sometimes easier said than done Yeah, once you get a little bit up, I'm going to use some tweezers, something to easily grab it. And if necessary, come back with the plate again. Sorry, I'm not talking much and trying to mainly get this off without peeling up the main part of the mask. Now, worst case scenario that 
you do pull up some mask or you think you did, you can always recode and do it again. And yeah, that's pretty much it with regards to this kind of masking. It's one of those techniques that's easy to learn but hard to fully master. Okay, and just about got it. And there. Oops. So we got the frames now. Let's get this back on here. Now the frame's been fully masked, and we can now go ahead and move on with painting. Now for painting, I'm going to wait till I put them onto the thing, or the meteor. Not permanently attached, just sort of semi-attached. But uh, next step will be to actually paint the inside color, and then paint, do a general primer coat over the entire thing. So come back and we'll show the results of that and I'll finish cutting out the mass for the main frame part.